Welcome to the daily practice sheet discussion of 21st of October 2022. Guys, today we have questions from all the GS papers you can see here. So the first question which we will discuss is on cyclones. Guys, today there was a news item on the October tropical cyclone in the Bay of Bengal. In this context, I framed the question that out of the five storms that have been formed in the North Indian Ocean in any calendar year, on an average, four are in Bay of Bengal. Explain this. So basically, the question wants to ask you that why more cyclones are there in Bay of Bengal compared to Arabian Sea. Arabian Sea. So this is a question. We'll see what are the reasons responsible for more cyclones in Bay of Bengal. It is a very uh, famous question in the UPSC examination. And you can expect this question both in the prelims and in the mains examination. Okay, so we'll see that. Second, there was a news item today that Honorable Supreme Court has asked the central government to tell it that what actions it is taking against basically hate speech. So we'll see. Then recently, the governor post has been in news because of some controversies in some of the states. So we'll see that why the role of governor is becoming more and more controversial these days. Okay, next in general studies paper three, we will, uh, the question is the, examine the impact of climate change on agriculture, discuss the need to reorient agriculture policy towards climate adaptation. Guys, the kind of agriculture policies we had in the past, okay, that policy is not, okay, not suitable for the challenges of climate change. Every, every passing year, we are seeing the climate change is becoming more and more severe, and it is going to impact agriculture sector severely. So it is high time that we reorient our agriculture, okay, reorient the policy towards agriculture. And in this context, we will today discuss the, uh, the concept of climate resilient agriculture. Climate resilient agriculture. It's a very interesting and important topic. Okay, so let us, okay, agriculture. Next, we will see, next we will discuss, okay, next topic we will discuss on genetically modified food. Guys, uh, there is a news that, okay, government is going to approve GM mustard. Okay, government is going to approve GM mustard. So in that context, uh, we will try to understand what are these GM food and should it be allowed to commercially cultivated in India? Okay, what are the pros and cons of GM food? Okay. It's a very, very important, I must say, development which has taken place, okay, in science and tech section. And I can tell you, you can expect a question, okay, on this topic next year, both in the prelims and in the mains examination. Take it from me, you are going to get a question on genetically modified crops. The next question also is related to the same. Uh, discuss the regulatory regime of GM crops in India. What is the regulatory regime? We are going to discuss the regulatory regime and we are going to see is the regulatory regime okay, good enough. Okay. Next, what do you understand by circular economy and how can a green economy and circular economy be linked to achieve sustainable development? We are going to understand this concept also. Why? Because okay, of the life mission, okay, the speech of Prime Minister and the even the United Nations Secretary General has basically okay uh, has supported the life mission okay where Prime Minister has called for lifestyle change lifestyle change okay lifestyle change in that context okay we will understand what is circular economy and then we have two topics of ethics one is on vaccine equity and another on values okay today there was a news item in the Hindu where Okay, honesty shops are being opened in some schools and how these honesty shops are helping in value inculcation, we will try to understand. So today I am going to start this topic, okay, this discussion of daily practice sheet with this interesting topic of ethics. What are values and is there is a value crisis in India and how values can be inculcated. So let me give you what was the news item. Let me just show you the news item. It's a very interesting and positive story. And uh, I want to start the day, okay, with some positive news. 
Okay, so there was a news item. There was a news item today that in one of the schools, okay, in one of the schools in Tamil Nadu, okay, they have what they have done. What they have opened an honesty shop. They have opened an honesty shop. What is this concept of honesty shop? Basically, the concept of honesty shop is like that. What happens? Yeah, this is the news item. I think. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This is the news item. Okay. So in that school, in that school, what happens is that they have set up a honesty shop. Okay. Honesty shop. So there is no salesman in that counter. Okay. There is no salesman at that counter and students can go drop the money or for each item at the collection box kept on the table. They can walk in and choose the item of their choice pay for it based on the price list displayed. Okay, so this is a unique concept which is being used in, okay, it's used in Kerala, Arnakulam district in Kerala. Okay, okay, so this is a very unique concept of basically teaching students, okay, the values of honesty, values of honesty. Okay, guys, okay, today I will teach you how these values are being, uh, can be inculcated in a character okay so first of all let me uh, discuss this concept of values in depth okay so what are values what are values okay so values are what values are enduring beliefs okay values are enduring beliefs okay about what is good what is desirable in life. So values are what? It, they are enduring belief about what is good, what is desirable in our life. Okay. So values are nothing but a kind of okay, our preference. Okay. They show our preference. Okay. They show our preference. Okay. So one thing which basically differentiates values with belief is what? Values are enduring belief. Enduring belief basically means what? They stay for a longer time, they stay for a long, longer time. So let us try to understand, okay, why do we need values? Why do we need values in life? And uh, how can we inculcate values in life? Guys, values are needed because they are, they, they decide our actions, okay? Because whatever choices we make, we make our choices on the basis of values what we have. Suppose you value money, you value money over, Okay, honesty, okay, or truth. Then what you will do? Suppose you go to the shop and you want to save some money. So what you will do? Because there is no salesman, there is no one to see how much you are paying. So what will you do? You will just take some stationery, okay, without, without paying the money. Okay, this means what? If you do that, this means what? You are valuing money over honesty. You are valuing money over truth, okay? So values, basically they show our preference. Okay, what are you valuing? What do you think is good for you? What do you think which is desirable in your life? Okay, so these are uh, like values are very important because values are the foundation. Values are foundation of our life. Okay, if we are nothing but what we are values. Okay, and as per our values, we act. As per our values, we behave. Okay. So values are the core values are the fundamentals of ethical behavior. Okay. So ethics, basically, if you see ethics, they are, they come from what they come from values only. They come from values only. Okay. Some of the ethical values society pick Okay, some of the ethical values society pick. Okay. And society decides that these are the ethical standards of behavior. These are the ethical standards of behavior. So values are very important. Okay. Values are very important. So the question was saying that what are values? What are values? Okay. Is India undergoing a value crisis? So what are values? Everyone can write. Okay. What are values? I think everyone can write. Values are nothing but values are enduring beliefs about what is right, about what is desirable in our life. It is the value which make our life. Okay. Good to live. Okay. If, if we live a life of value, then we can call that life a good life. Okay. If we live 
a life of values life of values we can call that as a good life we can call that as a good life because if you see what is the purpose of life okay if we ask ourselves what is the purpose of our life guys if you if you uh, go to the core of this question if you go to the core of this question the purpose of life is what to live a good life to live a good life to live a happy life okay and we cannot live a good life without living a life of values okay only we it is only by values we can live a good and prosperous life okay so the pro, the point is that okay the second part of the question says that is india facing a value crisis or undergoing a value crisis so you can answer this question you can answer this question why okay by various examples and examining the current situation in india okay if you see the current situation of india yes we can say that yes to a extent india is going through a value crisis why can why do we say that okay because whether whether if you see uh, why 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 do i say that india is uh, going through a value crisis how can i say that okay i can say this because okay if you see at the personal level at the personal level okay and at the society level at the society level both we see that there is a value crisis why let me first consider at a personal level so at a personal level what what are we doing we are running after material things we are running after material things and we think that it is the material success which is important in our life okay and for that material success okay we see people compromising people compromising with their values okay with their values we see more like we see very often we see very often there are ample of examples okay we see sports person taking uh, 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 taking steroids okay there are examples okay we have seen okay sports person okay we see betting we see betting okay, so sports i'm not talking only i'm not singling out sports but every profession you see whether it is business we, we have seen scams we have seen scams in business okay we have seen scams in business or not okay so why why do scams happen okay why do scams happen scams happen because you are valuing okay money which will which we will get out of scam okay more than the values okay more than tr uh, truth more than honesty more than other values you are valuing money over it okay you see there are various banking scams okay npas and all that okay why do why do they happen this is just what this is a moral failure value failure at the personal level okay at the personal level okay so at the personal level we see people okay you see in the kind of you see the kind of uh, uh, conflicts in okay in uh, personal conflicts what we generally have okay in a family breakage of family families breaking down because of property disputes this happens okay this is uh, this is becoming very normal where we see families okay breaking down because of a property dispute okay why because people are valuing more what material achievement over uh, the relationships or like these kinds of values okay as uh, at the society level also we see what people okay people valuing more people valuing more okay valuing more okay who have wealth who have wealth okay and there is no consideration there is no consideration about how has that wealth how has the wealth okay accumulated okay so if someone is driving mercedes someone is driving audi we are like we are uh, we are attracted towards that but we don't ask questions that was was the wealth okay was the wealth accumulated by correct means or incorrect means so means are not given that importance nowadays in society and there is a general acceptance for corruption okay if you see okay in society okay corruption sometimes okay okay is normalized sometimes sometimes it is normalized it's like a chalta hai attitude we have that chalta hai attitude about corruption about corruption okay so to an extent i would not say that yes india is facing a value crisis okay uh, a deep value crisis no 
there are there are people there are people who are ethical people who are following values okay in their life and we have great examples okay uh, we have numerous examples uh, whether uh, people who have achieved greatness in their life and common people also who might be not we might not be knowing them also okay today only i read one news item that uh, i think uh, mr shiv nagar mr shiv nagar and uh, mr ajim premji okay both of them okay they are the two top most people who have donated okay a lot of wealth okay to uh, the people okay philanthropy okay so philanthropy okay who will do philanthropy obviously people who value okay others okay who value other people more than their wealth okay obviously those people will give away the wealth so this is also what this is also a behavior which is motivated by the value system which these two people possess they have values of helping others they have values of empathy compassion okay only because those person will basically go out and they will do philanthropy okay this is like obviously this is common sense okay so the point is that yes india is going through a value crisis but it is not like very like not a completely dark story okay there are people who are good and there are obviously people who are okay not good okay so value crisis what is the meaning of value crisis value crisis basically means what okay where the number of people who are following values in their life who are uh, giving importance to values in their life are relatively lesser in number than the number of people who are following values in their life okay so that is called a crisis situation crisis situation basically means what okay less crisis means less water crisis food crisis means wo kam ghatta ja raha hai so obviously people who are who value okay uh, ethics morality okay in in life okay obviously those number of people are decreasing whether you see any field whether you see politics whether you see business whether you see sports whether you see any field okay the people are decreasing in number and uh, very few people are people who have high standards of behavior okay so in that context yes we can say that india is facing a value crisis and that's the reason if you see the new education policy the nep 2020 okay also talks about if you see the nep policy has given a complete chapter on value inculcation okay values are very important values of okay truth honesty okay values of empathy compassion okay, all these values are core fundamental values human values which are which are important for survival of human being and which is important for okay living a good life okay living a good life so any new economic policy also talks about values okay new economic policy also talks about values okay so we can say okay now the third part of the question is how do we inculcate values okay so this is one way this is one way of inculcating values this is one way of inculcating values see values are something okay values are something okay like uh, which we okay which we inculcate through various means okay it can be through storytelling it can be through storytelling okay it can be through what it can be uh, through uh, like uh, um basically what when we see our parents when we see our parents behaving okay in a certain manner we learn from our parents okay by observation it is called observation observation okay so through observation we learn values through storytelling we learn values okay through okay sometimes okay we are punished also for our uh, any kind of action and that also is a kind of reward and punishment reward and punishment okay we inculcate okay values okay so let me take it forward let me take this discussion little bit forward and let me give you okay a process of character development what is this process of character development see what happens is that when we when we okay when we have a belief okay when we have a belief that okay truth is good suppose truth telling is good and if that belief okay stays with you for a longer time and you carry out okay you carry out behavior on that okay so slowly slowly what will happen this will become your habit this will become your habit okay so belief led to action action led to habit 
and have it build your character have it build your character so if you see if you see uh, all these value inculcation all this value inculcation which happens at school level at the college level okay they are inclined towards making a good moral character in you through developing good habits okay because it is the habits okay which ultimately okay uh, transform itself into your character okay you are nothing but a summation of all habits you have so you see this example is the best example where they are doing what they are inculcating a habit among the students to honestly deal with others okay when no one is watching you how do you behave okay because integrity is that integrity is when no one watches you how do you behave that is what is integrity okay so you see here uh, like this this project is a valuable lesson on trust truth and integrity so i was explaining you integrity value of integrity integrity is what integrity is that under any circumstances you are not compromised so